Hey turn up, so today I am going to show you guys how to make this super wonderful and vibrant macaron. It is my birthday cake macaron. I really love the sprinkles, the colors, and the flavors. So you guys love birthday cakes, this is definitely the macaron for you. So let's get started. So right here on my left, there's my vanilla imitation, egg whites, granulated sugar, sprinkles of course, yellow food coloring, almond meal, and confection sugar. For those who are new to my channel, I've already posted all the ingredients and measurements in the video description down below so you guys can check it out. So right here, I'm already combining my confection sugar and almond meal and we'll add 2 tablespoons of sprinkles just to give that very vibrant color. And of course, we are just going to combine them together. Moving on to the next step, we are going to whisk our egg whites. It is very important for you guys to not age your egg whites. This recipe does not need any aging and it must be fresh and cold out of the fridge. So we are going to whisk our egg whites until we reach a very cloudy consistency where it sticks to the bowl. So once it looks like that, that is when you want to add in all of your granulated sugar at once. And then we are going to continue whisking. So we are just going to continue whisking and you notice that you're egg whites are going to become a little bit more shiny and it's going to be a little bit thicker and stop whisking the moment you first flip the bowl and it, it sticks to the bowl because that's exactly what we want that's the texture that we're looking for if you just keep on whisking you will achieve stiff peaks but it also causes your macarons to become very hollow so if your macarons comes out hollow that's exactly the reason why you have over whisk your egg whites and next we are going to combine our yellow food coloring and our vanilla imitation. I'm using vanilla imitation but you guys have vanilla extra you guys are more than welcome to use that. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys love the lemony yellow color. Now we are just going to combine our dry ingredients with our egg whites and keep on folding just to ensure that there's an even texture and there's no dry pieces in your batter where it's powdered and just keep on folding until you reach a beautiful lava consistency. And that's exactly the texture you're looking for. Next, we're gonna pour off our content into a piping bag and we're just gonna pipe directly onto a soup hat or a parchment paper. Next, we are going to tap our cookie sheet just to release all the excess air in our macaron shells. So once you bang your cookie sheet and release all the excess air bubbles in your macaron shells, it will spread out a little bit and that is the perfect time to add in your sprinkles on top. And for this macaron recipe, you do not need to let it sit and oxidize and form a coat. It is ready to go and pop into a preheated 300 degrees Fahrenheit oven and bake for approximately 19 minutes. So once I let my macaron shells cool and I pair them up together, I decided to use my classic ganache recipe for the macaron filling. And if you guys are interested in making the macaron ganache filling, it is already in my channel so you guys can check it out. And this stuff is extra but I think it's super cute to just add in a little bit of sprinkles at the very top of the ganache. And 
looks super yummy and it is as delicious as it looks. And here's a quick shout out to all Instagrammers for contributing to this macaron name. Hey Tanups, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. And I had a huge blast making these beautiful and delicious macarons. So you guys have to give this recipe a try. And I also really do want to thank all those Instagrammers that decided to contribute to this micro name. I think it's really interactive. So if you guys like to do more of this kind of thing where I give you guys a shout out, stay tuned to my Instagram and follow me over there. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can bring you guys more sweetness to life. And I'll see you guys next time.